What is going on everyone? My name is Alan and today we are talking about how to improve slash climb in season 5 of Overwatch. I've gotten this question a lot so I thought a lot about what I've changed recently and how I play the game and how I've changed from season 4. And here are the three biggest things that I've changed uh, from last season to this season. The first thing that I've changed is my mindset. I've been a lot more positive when I go into the game, uh, especially when I see an off meta pick or someone that's deemed like a throw pick. So like a Sim, a Hanzo, Junkrat, Torb. Uh, instead of getting negative and thinking we're going to lose, I started thinking about how can I play around them. So, for example, if I have someone on offense that goes Bastion, I think, well, I should go uh, Arissa or Reinhardt to try and play around them. Maybe we should get a, a Mercy to pocket them. Just thinking of ways of, of how to play around them. Uh, in fact, I was just in a game like five minutes ago where I had an offensive Symmetra on Route 66 and we won and we dominated them. So it's really all about your uh, your mindset. Um, also, have the mindset of wanting to get better. Uh, look at how you play the game and what can you improve, because there's always things you can improve. Like, are your callouts always perfect? Are your is your positioning good? Are you feeding at all? Um, so things like that. Um, and then the second thing that I I changed was the comms. Now this wasn't necessarily something that I changed. Um, well, part of it is. So, first thing is make sure you're using your comms. Make sure you have a mic. If you're playing in competitive, you should have a, a mic. If you don't, you should at least be in voice chat so you can hear what people are calling. There's nothing worse than like that Tracer or Genji that's off on their own, not in chat, and just keeps dying. Uh, so, make sure you're in chat. And make sure you're not being toxic. Uh, when someone makes a mistake, don't blame them or point the finger or anything like that. Just kind of move on with it, uh, regroup, and then try again. And make good calls. Make, make sure you're calling who you're targeting, if you're diving someone, uh, who has alt, what alts you're gonna combo, what alts do our enemies have, that's a really important one. Uh, who Who's low, who are we chasing? Um, comms win games. Especially if you're in solo queue, because there's a good chance that the other team isn't using comms. Uh, so making those calls, it, it'll give you the upper hand and you'll, you'll win more games this way. Um, and the final thing is rest. It sounds like a weird one, but hear me out. If you're on a losing streak and you're trying to get, like, you're like, I just need to win one and I'll, I'll be done, like, I'll start winning again, it, you spot out of control really fast. Uh, I, I've had 20 game losing streaks because I've just wanted to win. Uh, last season, I was my peak was only 2.5k, which is my lowest peak of all the seasons, and uh, I dropped from that to about 1.5k. So, huge, huge loss uh, losses coming in there. I had throwers, levers, and then I ended up just getting toxic and and throwing myself and not realizing it until I looked back on it. So. Definitely rest to uh, to avoid getting toxic. Uh, I ended up finishing at 2.2 that last season and placed around 2k this season. And I've been I have this rule where if I lose two, I take a break. It doesn't matter how I lost. If it was a blowout, if it was someone like a lever or a thrower, like no matter what, if I lose two games, I'm done. I take a break for a while and I'll come back and play later. And I've my peak this season is I'm right actually I'm in my peak right now I'm at 2.7k and I have about a 55% win rate so last season I think I had like a 40% win rate so you see just these three things that I've I've done I've improved my win rate by almost by about 15% uh, so these things like and they're not even things that you have to really practice they're just things that you do you don't have to go in the training range and practice for like 50 hours like you don't need to do that just change your mentality and how you look at the game and you'll climb i promise uh so those were the the, the three ways that i found to improve uh in season five and i hope you guys enjoyed that so if you did leave a like or comment or even subscribe see you guys